What's up everybody? I want to show you all very quickly how you can animate your own materials within Substance Designer. I haven't found a lot of very good resources online, so I'm hoping that within just a few minutes I can get you up and running animating your own textures. So I've got this node graph here, um, and I'd like to do a very simple animation on it. I would like this word relax to slowly come across the screen, and I've already got that set up so I can do it manually here um, with a gradient that blends in. Um, and you can see that as we change the slumosity value starting at about 0.5 and working our way backwards, the word relax slowly appears on the screen. Now, so that way we don't have to export each frame one by one and do this all manually, we want to set it up so that way we have a sort of timeline that we can work with um, and simply map this value onto the time. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to just keyframe in Substance Designer, but we do have a little bit more powerful of a tool actually, which, is, which allows us to expose these functions um, and edit them however we wish. So since this is the value here, this Lumosity, that we want to change over time, we're going to add an input value to its node. You'll see that adds an input value to the node, as you would expect. Um, and we want that to be controlling Lumosity. So here above Lumosity, we'll click the input, which is the name that we um, just got by default there. So now that Lumosity value is controlled by the input that we get right here. And we want that to come from a value processor node. This node allows us to edit a function graph within Substance Designer just within this one node. So we'll go in and we will do that. The value that comes out of here is going to affect directly the Lumosity. So for now, we will just add a time to see what that does. To be able to get time, we want to go to add node and get float. By default, time is a variable within Substance Designer. You can also use get float to get other um, variables that you have added in yourself manually. We're going to right click this and set it as the output node and we're going to save the substance graphs. Now to be able to get a timeline on this to be able to see what's actually happening in real time we're going to need to use the substance player application um, so go ahead and publish this as an SBSAR file I've already done that um, and so I'm just going to republish here and go ahead and open that up in substance player so I'm going to refresh mine with the changes that we've just got. And this is what you'll see. And down here, we've got a little timeline, which is exactly what we wanted. And if you click play, you'll see that that value is animated a long time, which is great, except for it's not doing any of what we want it to do at all. So we'll go ahead and stop this. Um, what we need to do is go in and change the way that time maps onto this value. Right now, time is going to start from zero and go up to, I believe, six in Substance Player, the uh, default time for the animation to play. What we want to do is map that between a negative 0.5 and 0.5, which is where that relax um, starts to appear. So the first thing we're going to do is change the direction. You'll notice that it um, went from right to left, not left to right the way we want it to. So we will add a subtract node and we will sub sub simply subtract time from zero so that way we get negative time. We'll add a float here for zero. So the output of this is simply going to be negative time which is going to reverse the direction. If we set the subtraction to the output, save, republish, and go back into Substance Player and refresh the material, we'll see that that change has taken effect. Unfortunately, there's still a little bit of an offset, and we want to correct that as well. So what we can do is simply add an addition node. And we're going to want a float at the bottom. And when I was testing this, I found that a value of 1 worked well. And that is going to adjust the offset. And I want to do one more thing. I want to adjust the time that it takes. I want it to move a little bit slower. 
So to slow down time, we're going to simply divide it. And again, when I was testing, I found that a value of about 3 was the speed that I was looking for. And then I'm going to want to set this final output node here to be the output. Save that. Once again, republish as an SBSAR. Refresh in Substance Player. And now when I click play, you'll see that the word relax slowly appears on the screen. One more thing that we can do is output this um, as an animation. To do that, we simply have to click export as bitmap. And then you can affect, you can change all of your different options here, um, including the format. Unfortunately, there is uh, not a ton of um, video options, so you can just export that as frames and go into whatever video editor you want and put that back together again that way. Um, but that is very simply how to animate your materials in Substance Designer. Thank you.